So I wanted to upgrade my RAM. I wanted to go from 16 to 32. What I'll do here too is I will show you how to find out what your computer is compatible with and how I found what I needed. You can go to crucial.com here and you can go to the RAM. And over here you can scan your computer and it can tell you exactly what your computer needs. This website didn't work for my scan. It just didn't have my model of Omen here. So what I did was I went here to kingston.com and if you search for your model and if you click it, it tells you exactly what your computer is capable of. And right here it says I can go to 32 gigabytes. Your results may vary, but this is what I was able to do. And right down below, it shows what RAM I can buy that will work with my laptop. So if you're looking to upgrade your RAM, or maybe you get an SSD or something, if you don't know a lot about what you're looking for, they can really be helpful. Now, I went to Amazon to order mine after finding out what I needed, just because it was a little bit cheaper there for some reason. But it's the same RAM, and it does come in a very thin little plastic package, which... Wouldn't be so bad if it didn't come in this, which seems awfully bendable. I just would have preferred maybe to put this in a box other than this, because you can smash this pretty easy. Also, if you're concerned about it, I looked around on the internet and a lot of people say that's just kind of the standard way they ship it now. Like, if you order RAM, odds are you probably get yours shipped to you just like I did mine. So I guess the only thing left to do is head over to the computer and RAM it. First of all, I took as many precautions as I could to not conduct any static. I'm wearing jeans, I have a 100% cotton shirt on, we're on a hard surface here. I touched some grounded metal before I sat down to do this. Let's get this laptop open. These are cheap tools, but they seem to do the trick. I find that this PH1 works really well. It looks like it would be too big, but it fits in these screws really well. We set the screws where they come out because I'm not really sure if any of these are different sizes, so we don't want to mess that up. Alright, let's get these out. Okay, the screws are out, and now we need our prying tool to open this up. These work pretty well. They might get a little beat up, but they work. Okay, this process is always the scariest to me because it always feels like something's gonna break, even though you're probably fine. We sit that there. Right there, that's the RAM we wanna get out of here. Let me go touch metal one more time to make sure I'm grounded and I'll be back. I think what we're gonna use to help us out are these things right in here. You can open these with your fingers, but I would prefer to touch it the least amount with my fingers as possible. Okay, that one seems to be up, and that one's up. I'm going to open up my RAM. Okay, so there's the RAM. I wanted to have a place to put the other sticks, so we'll take these out, and we'll lay them in here. Wouldn't it be funny if I accidentally put the same ones right back in? Okay, so we take this, and we put it in. See the notch there? You want to line that up with where the, the notch is in there. I guess it doesn't matter if one's flipped over so we put that in there until all those little pins disappear and then we press down until it locks in place and then we grab the other one and we repeat the little pins are gone and then we press down all right seemingly that is really all there is to it now let's get this thing put back together Okay, it's all snapped back together. I picked it up and opened the screen and kind of did it so I wasn't pressing down on the screen. I don't know if that's a big deal, but it just wasn't something I wanted to do to risk it. Now let's get these screws back in. Okay, everything is put back together. We're ready to see if it's gonna recognize the RAM. Okay, right here we can see that it says installed physical memory. 
is now 32 instead of the 16 that I had before. It looks like it's working, but there is one thing we can do. You can type in Windows Memory Diagnostic, and you can run this, and it'll restart and let you know. So I'm going to do that, and I will be back to let you know the results. Well, I checked the results in the event viewer, and it didn't find any problems, so everything seems to be just running properly. Good. I guess that about does it for the video. If you watched this, I appreciate it. Thank you, and maybe I'll see you around on the internet again someday.